Hello, I'm Sarah and I'm a biochemist, but I also am a hypnotist and I'm trained in medical ketogenic diets and quantum biology. So today we're going to talk about how insulin interacts with sex hormones in men and women. So we're going to talk about estrogen and testosterone. So first of all, when we talk about different hormones, say testosterone or estrogen, bear in mind that these hormones ride around in carrier proteins like sex hormone binding globulins. So, so when they're bound to these, that they're unavailable for use. So, so we have the hormone free and the hormone bound. And this matters for something I'm going to tell you in a moment. So first of all, let's just quickly have a look at the hormone hierarchy, just so that people can get up to speed if you've not watched this channel before or don't know what I'm talking about with the hormone hierarchy. So here we have a hormone hierarchy. It, it's brief and, and I've left lots of bits out, but the concept is what's important. So what it's saying is that certain hormones have power over others and things like leptin and oxytocin are high up. And then the hormones we're talking about today testosterone and estrogen are low down and we're also talking about insulin uh, which as you can see is a bit higher up in the hierarchy than the testosterone and the uh, estrogen so what does this mean and how how can it relate to low testosterone in men and problems with testosterone being too high in women um, when a man's insulin resistance this can cause uh, an increase in the activity of something called an aromatase enzyme. So what happens here is the testosterone gets converted into estrogen. And as you can see in this diagram here, there's a, quite a complicated pathway of how all these sex hormones are linked to one another. So say if a man is insulin resistant, he's making too much aromatase and creating too much estrogen. He's going to have low testosterone and high estrogen. So this is going to create an estrogen uh, dominance as well as a low testosterone so it's going to be loss of libido mood swings uh, man boobs uh, water retention depression and anxiety and a lot of times when i've worked with men with anxiety or depression it has been a problem with either estrogen dominance or uh, with low testosterone and we're here today considering okay insulin is higher up than testosterone and estrogen. So let's see if we can investigate this and fix the insulin resistance and see if this helps with the hormone levels. And we'll come back to how to do that later. And in women, what happens is the insulin, if it's high, if a woman has insulin resistance, it binds to the, to the uh, sex hormone binding globulin. And this can cause a rise in free testosterone and when women have something called polycystic ovaries that they not only have trouble with their weight and fertility they also have trouble with growing facial hair and things like that so it's a consequence of high testosterone that gives the symptoms but the actual cause was insulin resistance so let's go back to the hormone hierarchy again so in this hormone hierarchy, we can see that we've got melatonin and cortisol and leptin, which are higher up uh, than insulin. So that's why when people have done studies, not all women who have got polycystic ovary um, syndrome are uh, insulin resistant, and not all men with low testosterone have got um, insulin resistance either. So sometimes there's something else going on further up. So when somebody's leptin resistant, they become leptin resistant before they become insulin resistant. So there are going to be people who have problems with leptin, but they don't have any problems with their insulin or blood sugar yet. So how could we go about um, dealing with leptin resistance or insulin resistance? Well, very simply, both of them are aggravated by too much sugar and too much carbs, especially too much sugar and carbs before bed. That's really going to disturb uh, the leptin signaling, because if you spike your insulin just before bed, it's going to stop leptin from being able to do its job. And that's going to affect uh, not just your sex hormones, but also your sleep. Uh, and the other really important aspect of uh, leptin resistance is it's a circadian hormone. So people that don't go to bed at regular times, who don't see the sunrise and sunset or are exposed to lots of blue light are going to have more issues with leptin. And also blue light can raise blood sugar in some people. So for people who really just can't live without um, having some carbs now and again, if you if you want to do that, then cut out or cut down on your blue light so that you, you balance everything out. And that's why some people are insulin resistant, even though they don't really eat carbs. It's because they've got a terrible um, lighting environment. 
And also for some people, it can just be lack of muscle mass as well, especially in the legs. So there are always there's always more that you can do, not just diet. I mean, yes, diet's massively important, but I'm personally sick and tired of the food wars. And I've worked with enough clients now to know that there isn't a magic diet for everybody and people can't stick to certain things. So there's always other ways to deal with hormone imbalances. So as you can see by looking at this diagram here, and this is really simplified as well, there's loads and loads and loads of different kinds of sex hormones that get, get made from cholesterol and then pregnenolone and then progesterone. And we've only touched on, on the surface, but what I'm, what I'm trying to say is it's really easy to go down a massive rabbit hole with these hormones where actually the problem wasn't even the sex hormones to start with. It was the insulin resistance. And then sometimes it's not even the insulin resistance, it's the, the leptin resistance. So there's obviously more videos like this to come and I don't want to overcomplicate things. So feel free to comment and let me know what you'd like to see some videos of. I'm also bringing on um, people to uh, do interviews with soon and I've got some quite interesting people coming on. So thanks for watching.